This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com, and I'm with Jason Marsden, who was DJ's boyfriend in Full House, Eric's best friend in Boy Meets World, and JT's best friend in Step by Step. Could you start off by telling us a little bit about your time in Step by Step? I remember that uh, you know they were on like five seasons before I came in, and they welcomed me like I was there since day one. And Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World. Boy, it's fun because uh, Will Friedle, who plays Eric, who I played his friend, yeah. uh, uh, I had auditioned for that role. And uh, it was down between me and Will and, uh, and another gentleman. And, uh, and he booked it uh, because I, I couldn't possibly let him go back to Connecticut in defeat. So I just kind of gave him that one. Uh, but what, <laughs> what, what, what <laughs> no, he earned it fair and square. Uh, but what came from that was uh, they invited me to play his friend. And he and I hit it off uh, and became fast friends and, and are still friends to this day. Were you on the uh, wrestling episode of Boy Meets World? I was not on the wrestling episode okay. of Boy Meets World. That's too bad. Yeah. But I was there when, because uh, I, I, would, I would stop in uh, 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 sometimes when I, even if I wasn't working. And who was... Uh, Vader was the Vader? wrestler involved. He was, uh, he was one of the uh, bully's dads or something. Yes. And who was the other guy who had sort of the Texas Chainsaw character? Oh, Mankind, maybe? Mankind. Yeah. Yeah, he, but he was, you know, just a regular dude backstage. But I, yeah. I, was, I was around it, for sure. Oh, because they invited you to the... Uh, well, Will and I were buds, so I would just go and hang out. Okay, so yeah. you were best buds in real life. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And Topanga, was she, uh, is anything going on with him and her in real life behind the scenes? <laughs> Not that I know of. No? Know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh, she, no. She, she had her own problems. <laughs> <laughs> At Full House, you made some appearances on that show too. Yes. Uh, how was that and what do you think that there's been a reboot of it now? Uh, uh, doing Working on the show was great. Again, another family show. They welcomed me there. Like I was part of them. Like Bob Saget would invite me out to dinner with the, the cast. Uh, yeah, I had a great time. Uh, the reboot is fantastic for them. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that they're living on in, in Fuller Housery. Is that, that a word? It's Jesse's real name is John Stamos, right? Yes. <laughs> What's he like? Because I, I heard that he had sex with like Heather Locklear, oh, numerous probably. extremely good looking girls. Yeah. He, he recently married like yeah. a girl 30 years younger than him or something. I'm probably, I yeah. mean look at him, he's a handsome dude. He was going out with uh, Rebecca Romaine and uh, she, uh, I think she was just Rebecca Romaine, the model at the time. Uh, I didn't really work, talk with him that much because uh, I, I always joke like, oh he doesn't care about me because I'm not, you know, hot blonde. But I ran into him at a, at a club one night, and he he was so nice. He had me sit down with his then girlfriend Rebecca Romaine, uh, uh, and we chatted, had a good time. He was very nice, very nice to me, even though I wasn't tall and blonde. Who was the funniest on that set? It was Bob Saget. He was, yeah. I had no idea. I had no idea how how blue and x-rated he was until working on the show. He was... Uh, oh, even on the Full House set. Yeah, even on the Full House set. Him and Coulier uh, were uh, relentless. It was it was amazing. Do you still follow the Olsen twins career at all? No. Well, no. <laughs> 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 and I've noticed uh, you've done some voice acting work and some yes. other work over the years. You want to fill us in on what you've been up to for those of us that remember you from the Friday Night lineups? Yes. Uh, you know, in the 90s, I did a Goofy movie I was Goofy's son, Max. Uh, I'm also in Hocus Pocus, which seems to have a resurgence around Halloween. The voice of Factory yeah. Binks, the cat in that. And, That's uh, interesting. Yes. Interesting. Like, it, it, it's... People watch it every Halloween like I watch A Christmas Story, you know? Can we hear that voice? That's right. Hi, I'm Factory Binks. I'm a black cat. I'm here. And I protect children from witches. You're not a virgin, are you? You don't have to answer that question. It's very personal. But if you are a virgin, you can't light that black flame candle. Can you light the black flame candle? <laughs> you don't have to answer. Just know that children's lives are at stake. <laughs> and how do you like doing the voice where I guess you don't have to worry about being recognized as much as an actor, so that's good in some yeah. ways. I mean, I love it. It's, it's uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working with people I used to listen to when I was a kid watching Saturday morning cartoons, and it's, it's just so much fun. 
What advice would you have for someone that wants to get into voice work? Because I've met a lot of people throughout the years that uh, do voices and are interested but never bother pursuing them. I say, uh, my advice always is, uh, if you want to be a voice actor, make sure you're taking acting lessons. Make sure you're taking improv, scene study. A lot of people get discouraged when, they, when I say that because they think animation is just funny voices, but it's not. You have to, it's great if you can do impressions and you can do funny voices, but you have to be able to perform. You have to be able to act and give, give performances that, you know, the directors want, you know. So that's why to build up your chops that way, and then worry about the character stuff, you know. And is there anywhere we can uh, follow you on social media? Yes, please follow me on Instagram. I'm at Jason Marsden on Instagram. Uh, I respond, uh, more regularly there. I'm also on Twitter again, Jason Marsden. And I would also love it if you followed me at Mars Presents because I live in Nashville, I work with musicians and I can help promote them through that. I was just in Nashville and yeah. it's a great town and the great. weather was nice a couple weeks ago. There, nice, actually. what were you doing down there? Interviews for wrestling. There's a lot of wrestlers that live in Nashville. There actually. is, I discovered, so I live in a small uh, a town 20 minutes east called Mount Juliet and across from this church in this small town I had no idea. I saw a poster for like, it was like all-star wrestling. It was like an like a independent wrestling circuit in my backyard. And I went and I had a blast. It was, it was awesome. That's interesting. Yeah. And where can uh, people book you for autograph appearances or, and stuff like that if they want to bring you into one of their shows? Oh yeah, go to my website, jasonmarsden.com, and there's a link and, uh, and you can uh, find me there. Any chance of seeing you on Fuller House? And zero. <laughs> <laughs> they asked me, and I was I, I couldn't I couldn't do it, and I don't Why? think they're gonna ask me again. I I booked Dragon Con, and if anyone's been to Dragon Con, it's a good show. It's a good time, and uh and I I just couldn't do both at the same time, so I chose to do uh, Dragon Con. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Thanks, Anything? Uh, any final message you want to tell our fans watching here tonight? Um, your your fans are predominantly like. Like wrestling, wrestling fans. fans, I mean, I'm I'm hanging out. I'm at good at tags though, so I tags? think this will show up in searches. Okay, I'm uh, I'm I mean, I, I'm like old school WWF wrestling fan, so I'm super stoked that like Ric Flair is here, and I saw Sergeant Slaughter, <laughs> in his in his whole getup, he's here. Uh, 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 you want a message? Uh, I mean. Uh, I'm Give us a wrestling message. A wrestling, a wrestling promo. A wrestling promo. <laughs> oh yeah, here I'm Jason Marsden. I'm here with Devin at Rhode Island Comic Con. I do cartoon voices. Oh yeah, brother. That's the kind of wrestling that I grew up with. That influenced me. Yeah, man. Do cartoons.